So this is going to be a short video on the rising prevalence of fatty liver. Um, <clears throat> this is just a quick coverage of an article, which is an, analyzing the need and the cause for liver transplants. NASH is now the leading cause of liver transplants in women. Um, NASH, again, in case you don't know it, non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. That's a very technical term for saying liver, liver uh, fatty liver and inflammation from that fatty liver. It's now the number one cause of, uh, of um, liver transplants in women and in all people under age 50. <clears throat> what this is, is a, it, it, this was published in the uh, American Journal of Gastroenterology. That's part of the Nature Journals. And the Nature Journal is probably the top magazine in science in the world. Um, <clears throat> basically, what they did in this article was they analyzed the U.S. Uh, liver transplant plant and wait list um, registry to find out the causes for the need for liver transplant. So we'll go over that in a minute. Br first, a brief introduction. My name is Ford Brewer, F-O-R-D, Brewer, B-R-E-W-E-R. Um, <clears throat> started off as an ER doc, got into prevention. Now we're doing the uh, prevention channel here helping people understand the science uh, behind uh, what causes death and disability in our world. This is about the rising importance of fatty liver. And for those of you who don't know, fatty liver is basically associated with the other things that are associated with aging, getting heavier, getting insulin resistant, uh, getting type 2 diabetes. Very much associated with that. Uh, but <clears throat> let's go on a little bit further. So. Once you get the fatty liver, sometimes you get uh, inflammation. One in five of us will, uh, who, has, who have fatty liver will get inflammation, then fibrosis, maybe uh, hepatocellular carcinoma, and um, cirrhosis and death. Um, <clears throat> these are the folks that are getting uh, the hepatitis, the inflammation, uh, the one in five, and getting to the point of cir uh, cirrhosis. So that's even less than one in five. But again, now it's the number one cause of need for a liver transplant for women and people under age 50. Now, <clears throat> what's uh, again? If you go back and you look at that, uh, we'll we'll look at the uh, the number, the exact numbers in just a minute. But before we do, a little bit of uh, textual context. Up until um, 2014, the number one cause of um, or need for uh, um, liver transplant was hepatitis C, the hepatitis C virus. And as you know, you walk through an airport and you see a whole bunch of posters saying, look, if you were born between 45 and 65, get your hepatitis C test. Um, what has happened though, is that that number, that uh, number's decreased and it's due to the uh, retro or the antiviral treatments that are now available. Um, <clears throat> the or they're called the direct acting uh, antivirals. So that leaves then, uh, there's still chronic uh, hepatitis C virus burden, but now NASH is rapidly taking over. And uh, you, as always, you've had alcohol. So we'll look at those in just a minute. Uh, again, what they, how they did the study, they looked at the... Uh, the national uh, network, uh, the registry database between 2004 and 2016. There were a lot of people involved in that, as you might imagine. In fact, 127,000 adults. And um, <clears throat> by 2016, alcoholic liver disease was the most common uh, reason for waitlisting in men. And um, NASH was the most common cause for waitlisting in women. It appears, according to them, that as rapidly as NASH is growing in men, that it'll overtake uh, alcoholic fatty liver disease as well. Uh, but when I look at the numbers, I'm a little bit surprised. It's clearly what I would expect as an epidemiologist. I don't think there's a huge increase in um, alco alcoholism. 
but there does appear to be an increase in alcoholic fatty liver, uh, liver transplants. So here's the numbers. Uh, here's men and uh, males and females. Uh, to go through the, the code, this yellow one is hepatitis C virus, alcohol, and uh, NASH. Those are the ones to be aware of, and then you have your combinations down here. But let's look at the, the key ones here. So <clears throat> hepatitis C virus, in both of them, back in 2004, you were seeing a huge increase, but then it stabilized. And in the past few years, it's begun to decrease. You see that same pattern in both men and women. And again, that's associated with the uh, antivirals, uh, antiviral treatments that we now have and are using. Now let's look at the blue one. This is alcohol. For some reason, there's a significant increase here in men, um, at least with alcohol, uh, need for liver transplant due to alcohol. Um, <clears throat> according to the article, though, this increase is far bigger, and uh, it certainly, as an epidemiologist, I would understand and agree that even in men, this one is going to become a bigger issue. This is NASH, non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, or um, more simply, fatty liver. With women, it's no long. There's no guessing there. It has clearly outpaced. Um, alcoholic um, liver as uh, alcoholic fatty liver as the major reason for transplants. So again, uh, you may hear some a few things about a fatty liver and you may you don't see a whole lot in the, on the <clears throat> on the posters in the airport yet. I don't think the government's caught up with this issue, but it will. Thank you for your interest.